What is up YouTube, Dom Designs here and welcome back to my channel and thank you for clicking on today's video. Today I will teach you how to draw a rocket vector from sketch in this simple step by step tutorial. If you're new around here and you're into illustrator tutorials and process videos then click that subscribe button and turn on the bell notification so you don't miss any of my future uploads. The canvas size for this illustration will be 1920 by 1080p. As you can see, I have my sketch already imported into my Illustrator program. I'm going to give you about 5 seconds to take a screenshot so that you can follow along. Create two layers and name them Outline and Color. For the outline, we will use a dark blue stroke with rounded caps and corners. First off, we will want to set the center of our image. By pressing Command or Control R on your keyboard, you will bring up the ruler guides. You can just click on the side and drag a guide along the middle of the reference image. With the pen tool activated, let's draw the left side of the rocket. Click and drag like so to create a smooth stroke. Select the stroke and activate the reflect tool. You can press the letter O on your keyboard. And while holding Option or Alt on your keyboard, click in the middle to bring up this box. Make sure you have vertical selected and then click on copy. For the next step, we will want to join these two paths together. With the direct selection tool activated, click and drag over both anchor points, right click and join. You can also do the shortcut Command or Control plus J to get the same results. Let's connect the bottom area with the pen tool and then curve that line at the center using the curvature tool. Using the pen tool, let's continue tracing the left side of the rocket. Alright, so as we did earlier, we will select the shapes we created on the left side and reflect it using the Reflect tool. Next, we will draw the bottom of the rocket. Activate the Ellipse tool and create an oval holding Option or Alt on your keyboard. Now connect the left side using the Pen tool and curve it a little. Select this line and reflect it to the right like we did earlier. Now let's delete this overlapping line by activating the Shape Builder tool. Carefully click on the line while holding Option or Alt on your keyboard to delete it. For the next step, we will add some line details to the rocket. Let's select this shape and do a copy and paste in front. Resize the shape inwards while holding Option or Alt on your keyboard and then delete the overlapping shape. Perfect, now let's draw the front wing of the rocket. Create a rectangle in the middle and make the bottom part thinner. Using the direct selection tool, round off all the corners. Let's create the circular windows. With the ellipse tool activated, hold shift on your keyboard and create a circle. Duplicate the circle by doing Command C plus Command F to paste in front and then resize it like so. We will now add the bolts that go around the window ledge. Create a circle with a fill and no stroke and center it. Activate the Rotate tool 
and with the circle selected, Option or Alt click in the middle to bring up this box. We're going to punch in 45 degrees and then click on copy. And now you can simply press Command or Control D multiple times to create the circles rotating around the window. Amazing, now let's create the top of the rocket. With the ellipse tool activated, create an oval and delete the top anchor point. Using the shape builder tool, clean up the overlapping lines like we did earlier. Then what we will do is select the gray area with the shape builder to create an individual shape. We will want the shape to be a little bigger so we will go to the top menu and select offset path. Play with the units until you get something that looks like this. Delete the inner shape and with the shape builder tool clean it up like so. We're almost done the outline. We just need to create some line details using the combination of shapes and the pen tool. Finally, let's clean up the front wing of the rocket by deleting the unwanted lines with the Shape Builder tool. Alright, so the outline is complete so let's add in the base colors. Select everything and copy it onto the color layer by holding Option or Alt on your keyboard and dragging the green square down to the red square. Make sure to lock and hide the outline layer afterwards. We will then delete all unnecessary details from the color layer. Select all, make the strokes a little thinner, and then outline the strokes. We will then unite these shapes with the Pathfinder panel by just clicking on the Unite button. Then just ungroup and release the compound paths. Everything should be one color, so just select the outermost shape and delete it. Select all and apply a neutral color and unhide the outline layer. Selecting each individual shape, we will add in the base colors. For the top part, I use an orange gradient and apply it to the wings of the rocket as well with the eyedropper tool. You can press the letter I on your keyboard to activate that. I'll continue adding some yellow at the bottom, some blue on the windows and sides and a light purple for the body. So now is the time to add in the highlights and the shadows. The highlights will go to the left and the shadows will go to the right. Let me show you how I do this step by step. Step 1, select the shape and copy and paste it in front twice. This will create three shapes one on top of the other. Step 2, select the top shape and move it over like so. Step 3, select the top shape and the shape beneath it and activate the shape builder tool. Step 4, holding Option or Alt on your keyboard, delete the unwanted shapes, leaving behind what will be our highlight. Step 5, give this shape a light tone to represent the highlight. Basically, keep repeating this step for creating the rest of the highlights and the shadows. With that said, I'll let the video play out and I'll see you at the end of the drawing.
And there you have it everyone, this is how you turn your rocket sketch into a flat, vibrant rocket ship. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and let me know what else you'd like to see on my channel in the comments below. Cheers everyone!